So we finally have some server racks. It has taken like a year to get these stupid things, but we finally have them. And on the left, we have the SOK rack. If you buy four of their batteries, it is completely free. But if you purchase it by itself, it's $150. And then on the right, we have the Signature Solar Server Rack. And this thing costs $4.99. And this is just their basic version. They actually have a more expensive one that has a door on the front. Something else to realize is they will not sell you the Signature Solar Rack unless you buy only their batteries. So if you have SOK, Jack Appear, or Trophy batteries, batteries, you cannot put them in this rack because they won't sell it to you. And unfortunately, we only have two EG4 batteries in this rack. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more from them, so I think I'm going to take my other server rack batteries and shove them down here instead. But the SOK rack, anybody can purchase it, and it's only $150. So let's actually compare these racks and see how they differ. So first, let's cover the SOK server rack. It is very bare bones. There is no bus bar included. So either you can use their cables or they're gonna have some bus bars in the future, some big old pieces of copper that are gonna connect these all together. The only problem with that is it will block the screen. With these cables, it doesn't block the screen. In this configuration, we have a diagonal connection to our system. So the main negative is over here and the main positive is over here. And in the future, we're gonna do some tests with current sharing under high loads to see how these balance over time and if there is a current sharing problem. Or you could just add your own bus bar on this side. It's really up to you. These terminals are so massive, you could use 4 aught gauge or pretty much any cable you wish. Now one downside of this rack is you have to use server rack batteries that are the same height. And Trophy battery and Jack Appear will not fit in here. So if you want those to fit in here, you're going to have to drill some holes and then mount these bars at a different height. And the Trophy and Jack Appear batteries are quite tall. So you can only fit about three of those in this rack unless you move this one down. Down. Now the assembly is very easy. It should only take you 15 minutes to put this together with a Phillips screwdriver. Now each leg has a hole at the bottom so you can mount this to the ground. If you want to use concrete anchors in your garage to hold this in place, this is where you'll do it. And that's pretty much it for this rack. Very easy to use, very strong, and very cheap. Um, I think a lot of people are going to use these, especially for other server rack batteries that do not have racks available. You can easily modify this however you see fit. It. Now let's review the Signature Solar Rack. I know it's very expensive and most of you guys probably can't purchase it because you have to buy all Signature Solar batteries, but it, it looks really cool. So first there is a massive bus bar that connects the batteries together. And the EG4s come with a cable that connects the terminal to the bus bar. So unfortunately I did have some people complain about this configuration and these bus bars causing current sharing issues. So what that means is if you connect your inverter right here and right here at the bus bar, this battery is going to get cycled faster and this one will cycle slower. And unfortunately the main connections for this bus bar are on the top. There are no main connections down here if you want to do a diagonal configuration. So unfortunately, you're going to have to take this bus bar out, rotate it, and then try to mount it again, or drill some holes into the copper down here and tap the hole and then add your own bolts. That way you can configure the wires properly. You should have a main positive right here and a main negative down here. And that's just the standard configuration for a bus bar system. You still need it diagonally connected. Next feature is the shelves can be moved to any height you wish. But unfortunately, they won't sell this to you unless you have their battery. So this feature really doesn't matter for most people. Now, if you fill these racks up to their maximum capacity, on the left, it will hold 20 kilowatt hours. And on the right, this one will hold 30 kilowatt hours because this one has six slots for batteries, but they're gonna make larger SOK racks in the future. So overall, these are quite different server racks. Over here, this is more DIY friendly, especially if you have other batteries that you want to add to it. Um, and the EG4 is nice if you're going to stick with EG4 only. Um, if you're not buying any other batteries out there, um, this is the way to go. Now, personally, I think the SOK rack with bus bars on the terminals would be what I would choose. Um, I do not like their bus bar configuration in the Signature Solar rack. There should be connection points down here on the bottom of the negative. That way you can use a diagonal wiring configuration and not have any current sharing problems. But if you already bought a bunch of EG4 batteries, 
batteries, this is probably the way you're gonna go. Now what I wanna see is Trophy Battery come out with their own server rack because their batteries are a very different size and shape than the EG4 and the SOKs. And I hope Jack Appear will come out with their own rack as well because their batteries are a little bit longer than Trophy batteries. So yeah, all of these server rack batteries are a different size and shape. So we need racks for all of them. The SOK is very DIY friendly and you can make it work, but I would stick with only SOK batteries if you can. Also, I think the SOK rack should have more holes on the side so you can add any battery to it in seconds. That would be ideal. Everybody that's buying Trophy batteries and Jack Appear batteries, they could easily use this rack in seconds. Because Signature Solar will not sell this to you. They absolutely will not. But they do have a shipping deal. If you buy a bunch of batteries with this rack, they'll add free shipping. But with SOK, you get the rack completely free if you buy four batteries. And there's still pre-orders available for the SOK. Okay, they're almost sold out, but yeah, try to get that. If you plan to get an SOK, you should do it now. And 20 kilowatt hours is fantastic. Having two of these racks with eight batteries would be 40 kilowatt hours, but it would take up more floor space than the Signature Solar one because this one can hold six of them. But if you have two of these, you're gonna have to have 12 batteries and that's, that's a lot of batteries. <laughs> that's 60 kilowatt hours. So it really depends on how much you have to spend and how many batteries you really need. So hopefully in the near future, we'll have some more server racks to test and review. But for now, we are stuck with these. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.